One championship coach, he's experienced both the highs and lows of this championship from a unique view. I tell you, these Aussies are good from the bunkers. The U.S. Open. <laughs> one of the four majors in professional golf. Tiger Woods perseveres through Torrey Pines and wins a third. US Open golf fans have seen some legendary moments at the U.S. Open over the last two decades. Most of them on TV. Tee shot first. Lee Coble okay. has seen them in person. 99 was my first actual working one of the USGA events at Pinehurst. Was when Payne Stewart won the U.S. Open. Payne Stewart is the 1999 U.S. Open champion. Oh, my. Lee was there for Phil Mickelson's epic collapse in 2006. Way left, way, way left. At Wingfoot. I was with him on Friday as well, and he hit that same shot. So coming to 18 on Sunday. For the hospitality tent. Bones gives him the driver. And I'm saying to myself, no. And witness Tiger Woods' 2008 playoff victory at Torrey Pines. Expect anything to on a fractured leg. I heard the snap of his knee during that tournament. Oh, oh my God, goes. this is. And again, he went on to win. Coble lives for golf. It's about relationships. It's about, well, first of all, it's a game of integrity. Coble is the current head golf coach at Virginia Union, but his memories of the U.S. Open have come as a member of the USGA TV Rules Escort Committee. Our responsibility was to work with the TV crew to get them to the golf course, get them where they need to be, to get the pictures they need to get, to make sure that they were not impeded by the gallery. Coble doesn't miss the U.S. Open. This would have been my 21st U.S. Open. He's on quite a streak. So from 1999 up to 2019, I've worked every U.S. Open tournament. But thanks to COVID-19, Coble's streak of working the U.S. Open has come to an end. At first, I was a little disappointed, but also I quickly understood that the USGA made the right decision. So I applaud them for being able to make that decision and not cancel the Open, but to do it at a later date. That's a new ball, I'm going to get it. <laughs> the North Carolina native's love of the game stretches back decades. As a tender age of nine to 10 years old, I was a caddy. And from that day forward, I fell in love with the game of golf. Yes, sir. At a time when people who looked like him weren't welcome to play at the same golf courses. As a caddy in North Carolina, uh, started caddying and I couldn't play on the golf course. So therefore we played when everybody else left, we played on our way home. And we had a certain number of holes we play. We played number one hole, number two, number three. And sometimes we get brave and come back and play number four, which could be seen from the pro shop. But one moment while in high school almost ended Coble's love of the sport. So I go to the golf coach and I say, I want to, I want to play golf. He said, Coble, you can't play golf. I said, why not? He just said, you can't play. So one day on my way to soccer practice, I asked, do you have a seven iron? He said, yes, let me hit it. I absolutely hit it, I crunched it. And he said, come on, I said, no, I'm going to do soccer. That was my ego that jumped in. Coble later found out the golf coach actually helped him from the harsh reality of racism. Because this is 1966, 67, where they were playing, Ooh. I would not be allowed to play some of those private clubs where they had their events. So again, not being able to play, was still a motivation to continue to play. Those experiences Coble used as a source of inspiration Hold your head, ball. when he became the first black president of the Virginia State Golf Association in 2012. I had a chance to put my footprint on the game of golf, to get more folks like me playing the game of golf, to bring more folks to the board like me to the VSGA. This is recognition from the African American Golf Digest okay. in 2013. And while Coble won't be at Wingfoot for this year's U.S. Open, he's already looking ahead to the 2021 Open when it returns to Torrey Pines to begin <clears throat> his new streak. So uh, it would have been number 21, but hopefully in 2021, it'll be 21.
One of the perks for Cobol as a member of the USGA TV Rules Escort Committee is having the opportunity to play the course on the same layout the Monday after the U.S. Open. He told me his best round ever was in 2005 when he shot a 77 at the Shinnecock West Course in New York. His score was better than 40 of the 64 golfers who played in the final round that year. If you would like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtherosker at WTVR.com. We'll be right back. Hey, Panther family. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok pages to stay updated with VU Sports news and information. Thanks.